Day two of testimony rolled on in the capital murder trial against Nestor Hernandez, and it took a surprising turn today. The man charged, you see him here, in the deaths of at least two people at Methodist Dallas took the stand today. Prosecution and the defense rested late in the day today, but not before some key testimony. To get us up to speed tonight, here's our Robbie Owens. Closing arguments get underway here Thursday morning at 9. The defense called just one witness to the stand, the accused killer, Nestor Hernandez, who told jurors that, yes, he was responsible for the murders, but claimed they were not intentional, telling jurors that the gun just went off as he fought with his newborn's mother. The nurse asked, him, is everything okay? And I was like, yeah, everything's okay. And then she said, no, it's not. She was like, I don't want him here. This ain't even his baby. Nestor Hernandez told jurors today that he didn't bring the gun into Methodist Hospital that day in October. He and his child's mother, Selena Velatoro, had argued the day prior, and she had given the parolee an ultimatum in the car on the way to the hospital. Get rid of the gun, sell it, or she wouldn't give their newborn his last name. Hernandez says he agreed to sell the gun and put it in Villatoro's makeup bag, which she then took into the hospital when she checked in to deliver. Hernandez came to visit the day after the birth, and they argued again after he accused her of infidelity and of giving him a sexually transmitted disease. She hit me, and so, you know, I kind of like, you know, I had the pistol in my hand. I don't think the nurse knew I had the pistol in my hand. And so we got into like a little a little brawl or whatever, and that's when I, you know, I hit her. I ended up hitting her with the pistol. And that's when the nurse, the nurse, she was like, stop. She got in between us. And uh, the, with my shirt, the, the black shirt that I had on, it was already kind of like over me. It was already, like, cause she was like putting on the shirt too. And so the gun went off. Prosecutors are not seeking the death penalty, so if convicted of capital murder, Hernandez faces an automatic sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. At the Frank Crowley Courthouse in Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.